update on Mary Ashley, how yeah. surgery go, and is she, she back at practice? Yeah, she went, surgery went well. She um, obviously the mask probably for the rest of the season. Um, recovery was probably harder than she thought just because of what she had to have stuffed in her nose, but uh, got it out yesterday. Um, you know, just trying to catch her wind back. Uh, got a workout in this morning, um, get ready to practice, but uh, I expect her to be 100%. Are there any concerns her, with her playing in the game at all? No, no. Not from me. <laughs> not from me, not from her, not from her folks. Um, I think the kids are ready to go. Um, just with your first game with IU, mm -hmm. I mean, they hit a lot of threes yeah. that game. What's, I guess, what's the adjustment on your end now? To yeah, um, it's, you know, if you want to play Holmes, one on one, she's gonna go 11 for 15 like she did against Michigan State. Um, you know, we we did they they made 15, um, but I think about seven of them were I think were pretty controllable for us. Um, in the first quarter they hit two threes where we were supposed to be in our press. We didn't get matched up in our press transition threes. Um, Scalia hits a transition three. We miss a we miss a switch in the fourth quarter. Scalia hits another one. Um, we let Holmes out of the double a couple times to see the skip. Um, so like control, like things are going to happen, but like some controllable things that I think we can do a better job of. Um, maybe throw them some different looks so they're just not quite comfortable. Um, so she's not quite comfortable where the double's coming from. I, I don't know that there's an answer. You know, like I think that Indiana's a team that can, can win if the game's in the 60s. And like they showed the other night, they can win if the game's in the 90s. So um, a hand, our hands will be full. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's really about us just competing as hard as we can. Um, and then try to create our own luck. And this is a game where you're going to need some offense. Yeah. You're going to need to score yeah. whatever, every opportunity you can get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're not a team that's going to put up 32 points like Michigan State did in the first quarter. We had 29 in the first quarter against them here. Um, and then, you know, the water, you know, the level of water kind of <laughs> levels itself out there. Um, but, you know, we, we are who we are, and um, we're going to get open shots. we got just got to have confidence to knock them down. Um, I thought we did a good job of crashing the offensive glass, and we had 13 second chance points against them the first time. I'm sure, Terry, that's a point of emphasis to keep us off the glass. But um, if, we can, if we can have great spacing, um, Indiana's defense will allow you to have some open looks, but they're a team that forces you to score from the outside. Um, Holmes is just as good as she is offensively. She's just as good defensively. Um, so we got to have great spacing to allow Caitlin, uh, allow Mary Ashley opportunities. Um, but, you know, it's Indiana. It's, you, you got to go out there. You got to play as hard as you can and give yourself a chance in the fourth quarter. What did, that, what did the win Monday kind of mean for the team? Yeah. And, and this week you've had extended time off. But yeah. just what, what, just, did it just, what did it mean to have that Well, win? it allowed us to have our days off, like, <laughs> a, a little bit – joyful and not like <laughs> as as bad as it's been um but i think it just kind of like allowed us to breathe um you can kind of see when you watch the game in the fourth quarter and overtime our outside shots until up until caitlin hit that one in the corner we were we were open um and i think it's just a like this like pressure of oh my gosh, I have to hit this shot instead of just being relaxed in the moment. And, and I think that that's going to allow us to just, just to relax. And now there's no pressure of we've lost eight in a row. We've got to win the next one. It, you know, we've, we've got one win under our belt. Now let's just go out there and play basketball. I mean, we're going to play a top 15 team on the road on their home floor, They're your, your in-state rival. I mean, it's a, maybe it's the last time some of our kids play against Indiana if we don't match up in the tournament. So um, just got to go lay it on the line. Have you stressed to your team that – there's still things ahead of them. I think so, yeah. Uh, that they can they can achieve or at least put themselves in a better position as I, you get to the end of the month. Yeah, I, I you know I, I you know we've talked to them individually. I think that collectively they talk about it together. Um, I think that you know this is where having you know some some upperclassmen really you know I think our freshmen are still naive. We're just going out there and trying to win basketball games right now. But I think our upperclassmen have led that that talk of you know we. Yeah, we're three and eight in Big Ten, but like, we've got seven games left, and you know, if if you're able to put put some runs together and, and get a streak to go, then you know you put yourself in a better position in the Big Ten tournament. Maybe you're not playing in the first round, you know, on the first day. Um, but but for us, like, the only thing we can do right now, we can talk about all that, but we got to make sure we're living in the moment. Right. Yeah. As you went back and looked at Janae's 14 assists, what? 
what stood out of how she kind of stood out about seventeen or eighteen, really, to be <laughs> honest. Um, first quarter or first half, her pace was really good. Um, you know, we we knew that they were going to step up big um, from post if she could get by her first line, and she made a couple great passes to to Caitlin off that. Um, Mary Ashley and, and her and some high on ball screens were were really good. Um, but her, she normally will probably have you know eight, nine, ten assists if we make our shots, um, just because the ball's in her hand so much and she does see the floor well. When someone has, I mean, you have to make the basket to get the assist. I get yeah. that, but what things? What things are is she doing, kind of to to lead to that? Well, I think she's looking to score, and so you've got like you know like she is, she you know she she's taking a she's taking her pull up. So you got to go respect her. She's getting to the rim and looking to to finish and not you know driving and kicking. So you've got to respect her right now uh, because she is looking to score. Uh, but it's her pace in transition. We can, when we can get out in front of her. Um, and we can sprint to corners and, you know, Mads can hunt and Abby can really hunt shots. Um, and then if you run a two-man game with her and Caitlin um, or her and M.A., you know, Caitlin and M.A. can both pick and pop pretty well. So, uh, One kind of oddball question. Yeah. But you, you know, you've had the sisters yeah. on this team. You know, Amaya and Mila aren't, aren't actually playing together, but right. the other ones. Has this turned out like you thought it yeah, would honestly, I mean it's been a non-issue <laughs> like it like sometimes you just don't even realize that that they're out there because they don't now Caitlin will go over there and kind of like you know if Elena makes a mistake kind of whisper her to but but she also does that to Mary Ashley right. and Mila you know um Madison and McKenna are their own <laughs> boat but like it, it it's you know it's really been a non-issue to you know no distraction and more stories for for our squad but um, I, I think it's a testament to their families and who they are and how they've been raised that um, they just go out here and, and in the moment that we're, we're teammates and not necessarily sisters what has been the benefit of having that um having... that I think that like there's been a, the biggest thing for me is <clears throat> I think as the season has progressed like the earlier in the year the bridge that it created um, from our upperclassmen to our younger kids uh, because Kenna and Madison, Elena, Caitlin, Mila, Amaya, they're a little bit younger, but like it created like this bridge to for them to, for the older kids and the younger kids to kind of merge together quicker than maybe it would have in a, you know, non-sister world. <laughs> <laughs> but it, does, it doesn't uh, uh, prevent you from doing it again. Uh, no, you not, at all. You <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All right.